last week I spoke about the call and the soul asleep in nature waking up to this great adventure of consciousness in integral yoga the transformational practice is something that is extremely simple it is not a mechanical process that you do at a fixed time it's a living process a conscious relationship shirobindo beautifully describes this process in his seminal book called the mother he writes there are two powers that alone can effect in their conjunction the great and difficult thing which is the aim of our endeavor a fixed and unfailing aspiration that calls from below and a supreme grace from above that answers unfailing aspiration that calls from below and the supreme grace from above that answers there's a call and an answer while it is the soul asleep in nature that has been called for an adventure and as we start the journey as our mind is ignorant of what we are into there is a call from within us the search the seeking for that perfection that harmony that delight that we are yet to discover without knowing what that is that thirst so there is this call from below from within us and there is this grace that responds what does this mean in integral yoga the most important thing is the way we look at nature we look at nature as conscious when i say nature it's not only the earth and all the living beings but the sun and the stars and the whole cosmos is conscious there is a conscious presence a conscious force behind it and it is that force that has given birth to all the stars and solar systems and planets and life forms and we are part of that and it is that which is not on our doors to wake us up and the soul is now ready for the adventure so the thirst and the adventure arise within us as the call from within and there is a response to it because the universe is conscious a conscious presence and force is molding all life forms all lives all civilizations all cultures towards its grand evolutionary purpose we are part and parcel of its project we are its project we are slowly becoming aware of it so when we bring in this mindset that the universe is conscious the cosmos is conscious and 
and it is responding to our search. Rather, it is that which is guiding and molding and shaping our steps, but we are not aware. But the more we recognize that there is a greater wisdom that is guiding, leading, just like this beautiful sunlight. Once we recognize this grace and seek and surrender to its call, path becomes simple, easy, path of grace, the sunlit path. It's like falling in love. That's why it cannot be a mechanical process. There is no technique to fall in love. Your heart opens and you give yourself. And the light and grace pours in, show you the way that makes everything simple. The call from below, the aspiration from below that is steady and the supreme grace that responds. And we can see it symbolized in Sri Aurobindo's symbol, the upward triangle, the call from below, and the downward triangle, the grace from above. That's sunlit path. Simple, beautiful, graceful. <laughs>